Client image galleries. Should you use one to show the proofs of your shoot to your client? Which is the best one to use and how do you set up a gallery? In today's video, I'm going to answer all those questions for you. Hey, it's Adrian Harrison here. I've been shooting professionally since 2007. And this channel is about me sharing my knowledge with you to help you improve your photos. Whether you're already a professional photographer, whether you're a business owner wanting to improve your photos, or whether you just like shooting photos for yourself, this channel is going to help you. Should you use a gallery? If you've been looking around already, then you'll probably know that some photographers do use galleries, some don't. I personally use one, so I'm going to give you my experience as to why I use a gallery and why I like them. The first reason I think you should be using a gallery is because every client is different. Everyone has their own perception on what they like and what they don't like. Just because you like it as a photographer, it might be aesthetically pleasing, the light might be great, but the client may not like it for multiple reasons. It could be that they shot from an angle that they don't like being shot from. It also could be that there may be, you're not capturing their branding. If you're a corporate photographer or you work for companies, then perhaps they realize that you didn't quite get their branding right. Clients often want to show very specific things when it comes to their product or when it comes to their service. And as a photographer, you may not know that 100% unless you've done a lot of work for that client. So what I've found is it's always best to let the client choose. It also means it's going to reduce your workload. If you've shot 500 images for a shoot, the photographer that simply gives the client everything is going to have to edit all 500 images. The photographer that only gives a selection of images is only going to actually need to edit up the images uh, that the client has actually purchased. So you're going to be a lot more profitable as a photographer and you're going to work uh, less than the photographer that gives the 500 images. Now there is an argument with some photographers that giving more, they think giving more images to a client is better value. Personally, I don't subscribe to that theory. More is not better, in my opinion. Capturing the types of images that the client wants, capturing the product or the person or whatever it is in the way the client wants is what's going to give the value or where, where the client is going to get that value or feel they've received the value, not by the quantity of images. A handful of excellent images is always better than hundreds of just the so-so images. Next question to answer is what images do you actually put in the gallery? Do you put them all in? Do you put some of them in? What do you and what do you do to them? Do you edit them first? How does it work? So the way I do it is I like to go through, I'll go through all my images from a shoot and I'll star what I think are the best ones. And that's going to be most of the images for the first pass because what I'm really looking for is when I'm going through my images is I'm taking out all the rubbish images. So anyone where people have got their eyes closed, they're obviously not uh, pulling a good face where, some, where the lighting's completely wrong, anything that can't be sort of rescued, or I know that the angle is wrong or anything like that, I'll take those out of the mix. There's no good sending them to the client because it's just making extra work for the client. The client doesn't need to go through all the, all the rubbish. It also gives the perception that you're a better photographer as well, not showing them the photos that didn't work out. We all know as a photographer that we need to shoot a lot of images and quite a lot of those images just won't work out or you're adjusting your lighting and it might take several images before you dial in your lighting. So leave those images out, show the clients everything else. Should you edit your images first? This is a yes and no question. I give mine a light edit Whereas I correct the exposure, I'll straighten them, I'll roughly straighten the images, I'll make sure the white balance is, is correct, and I'll give them just a little bit of pop. And I do all this in Lightroom because it's super fast and super easy, whereas normally I can create or set a preset and synchronize all the photos so the preset applies across all the photos for a lot of these rough edits. This first pass at editing is really about giving the client a preview of what they can expect from the photo. Doing this rough edit first also increases the chances of selling the images. I charge my client per image, not per hour, so that way they're paying for a result and not for the amount of time I've spent on something. So make sure you do give them a rough edit first if that's the way that you like to shoot because it's really going to increase your chances of actually selling that image. So now that you've decided whether you want to use a gallery or not, the next step is how can you create a gallery? Well, there's a few ways you can do it. First of all, you can do it directly in Lightroom where you can simply 
highlight the images that you want to create your gallery from you come out, come over here to print and you can create a contact sheet like this if I'm doing it this way I like to put the photo information on every photo so the client can easily identify it and you can do that by just selecting this one over here after you've done that then you can come down here and you can print to a JPEG file and that will create a JPEG file of these images which you can email to the client you can also do it directly on Lightroom through using this web tab here I don't use this one personally what I like to use is a popular app called Pixie Set. now there's a number of these apps around this is the one I like to use I'm not getting paid to do this or anything like that it's just one I found and I found easy to use so how do you create a gallery in Pixie Set? well it's pretty easy first of all you come over here you log in you come over to collections then you'll hit new collection here then you're going to put the name of your client or or the shoot name you can add the date of the shoot and you can also set up pixie set so it gives you some default settings so it'll arrange the images in a certain way it'll use your preferred font or typeface it'll also remember a few other settings as well we'll just use the default setting in this case and we hit create next thing to do is some add some photos next thing you need to do is select some files I export them from Lightroom and I do it in a fairly small size which is 800 by 1200 pixels in this case that's plenty large enough for the client to actually see the images and to decide whether they want those images or not so just drag them over and you can drop them straight in like this now they're going to upload next thing you can do is I like to change the cover Pixie set will choose one by default but I like to select the best one the best looking image just to really create a great impression for the client so we can just say change cover and you can just simply choose your favorite image to upload and just drag and drop it in so this is a preview of what it would look like on mobile and this is for the desktop And this is actually how the gallery will look now you can change the typography here you can change the grid style how it's laid out change the color you can go through all those sort of preferences there as to what fits your branding the other thing you can also do is you can create different sets of photos so you might want to group different photos together so if you're shooting a wedding then you might group the ceremony reception getting ready together if you're shooting food you might group certain dishes together or maybe you'll group the food and the shots of the restaurant interior together this just makes it a little bit easier for the client to see which images of which so here's an example so we've got images from Thailand here and we've got images from Vietnam here so these are the each group that's been created so you can do that Once you've done that you can just come down here and hit publish and then you can either copy the link from here so we copy the link or we can send an invite which will have the link in it and you can send that directly to the client and you can do that just by filling out the email address here subject and your message and then you'll hit send and that'll send that directly to the client now the client can actually make some selections so once they get it they'll get a link to this gallery and then they'll come in they can review each image larger or smaller pretty quickly and easily if they like an image they can hit the favorite they can add their they'll need to add their email first after they've created the list of fault after they've created the list of photos they'll then easily be able to email it back to you the photographer and then you can bring that back into Lightroom to easily create a favorites list and those are going to be the images that you edit and end up delivering to the client using that favorites list really makes it super quick and super easy to take their selections it gives you the image number or the file name 
you can pull it straight back into Lightroom. Job done. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and please remember to subscribe below. I'd love to also hear your thoughts on if you give gallery images to clients or not, and which gallery you use, or how do you create your galleries. Leave a comment below. Thanks.